Hey guys, TechnoMinja here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this ultra wideband update failed error on your phone. And this video, I'm going to break down what that means and how you can easily fix it by following some simple oh, tips that we have for you guys. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of these newer phones at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So what happens is after you update your phone, you might see an alert on your iOS or iPad on your mobile device or your you know device that you're using for your update and this issue might be detected and you're gonna have to do this simple or repair yourself and it's pretty straightforward with this device we'll show you guys how to do that but the first thing is to do is of course you want to restart your phone that's one of the most important thing to do and to restart iPhone 10 or above you're gonna have to hold the side button here and the power and then the volume up button so these side button or the volume button you're going to hold these together until you see that slide to power off you're going to slide it off wait about 30 seconds to a minute till it's completely shut off and then you're going to hold the side button here till you're back on powered on the next thing you want to do is go into settings once you're in settings you want to make sure you're up to date with your software on the phone and then go to software update and see if there's any updates available as you can see we have 14.4 available we're going to hit that download and install and make sure connected to a good wi-fi and connected to a power source with the power cable on and update it as well that way well what if that didn't fix it um and the next thing you can do and you, if you haven't seen any update is that you're going to have to do uh, repair by connecting to iTunes so it's pretty straightforward with iTunes what you're gonna uh, do is simply if you have a MacBook you probably have iTunes installed and if you have a Windows you probably you might not have iTunes installed you can install it. it's a free software that Apple provides to troubleshoot its phone you can simply Google uh, download iTunes and you can download the latest version of the iTunes and once you have downloaded iTunes you can step follow the next step on to doing the repair and to do that make sure your phone has been backed up and such because we're going to take the phone into recovery mode to do that and to do that it's pretty straightforward you're going to need a cable connected to your macbook or your pc and you're going to need your phone to do that it's pretty straightforward first thing we're going to do is put it in recovery mode on the iphone 10 and or above you're going to use the method that we have in this video but for older devices to put a phone in recovery mode um, like the iPhone older version you're gonna hold the home button and home button that you have and the power button for the iPhone 10 and above we're gonna simply hold and release the volume up button and then hold and release the volume down button and then hold the side button here but before we do that first thing we're gonna take is our cable here plug it into the phone and make sure it's connected to it and also make sure that the cable that you have here it's an authorized original cable or one that actually works and charges your phone if it's a, if it's a third party one it might not be a data sync cable which might not connect to the phone and then you get this pop up to trust the computer and that's basically making sure that you are trusting this to be a connection to happen so you want to hit that trust and once you do that on the computer you'll see the same kind of message about trust you're going to hit continue and you'll see that access is now authorized with your device and now we're going to put the phone in recovery mode to do the repair to do that you're going to hold and release the volume up and then volume down and hold the side button as you can see i'm just holding the side button keep on holding it don't slide to power on just keep on holding the side button it's going to take a good maybe 30 seconds to a minute keep on holding till you see this connection to iTunes and make sure you know your data cable that you have is not moving that cable needs to have that connection you'll see the Apple logo and then finally you'll see this message for the restore and now we can start the restore process like we mentioned make sure you guys are backed up first before you do that because it will go ahead and update and reinstall the current version of software on your device and do not disconnect while you're doing this process really important that you're connected to good internet 
you have power on your Mac or your PC and your phone is connected without any disruption. And then once you want to do that is you're going to select this option to update. And once you do that, it's going to start a download of the iOS. Could take about a good 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on your connection type, even longer. Really wait for that update to happen. Once you update it, it will ask you, it will just install that update for you and hopefully that resolves your issue. And if that does not resolve your issue, there could be an internal hardware issue with your phone. In that case, you're gonna have to take it to an authorized service provider of Apple or the Genius Bar at the Apple Store and they can take a look for you to see what the real issues are. Sometimes if it's a recall issue or issue with the phone, if you have warranty or even if you don't have warranty, they might be able to help you and fix it for you. Of course, you're gonna have to take to the Apple Store for them to determine that. So hopefully this video is helpful in fixing your issue with your iPhone. If it was helpful, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.